Hey, my name is Anthony Patterson. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. Second generation artist. Shout out to Pops, being a painter. Um, you know, my sister's an interior designer. Another sister can cook well, so, you know, creativity flows in our veins. I became an artist just by honestly picking up the pencil or whatever I could find and just drawing all over the walls. Uh, my mom used to tell me, teachers used to call home and say, oh, Anthony's done with his work, what do we do? She's like, let him draw or give him more work. So from there, I developed my talents, um, being around a lot of great art teachers and just, you know, kind of finding myself. It went from graffiti to painting to stuff that I'm doing now. So Hickstown Crest Street, um, we're here for a reason, highlights on my neighborhood's history. Um, it has a very special history and fact that we fought off a lot of gentrification issues with dealing with the highways. Um, it's very historic. It's the first time in U.S. history where urban renewal funding was used for an entire community rather than one house at a time. Um, I grew up in this community. It's my grandfather's community and it's very special because my grandfather was on the front line for change in this movement. If you just go around the city of Durham, especially downtown, you start to see that there's a lot of new buildings coming around. And what inspired me to make this was I saw parallels between my community history and then the history of Durham and like the direction where the city is going. And so I wanted to kind of highlight on that as well as make sure that my community story is told again so that we know that we can fight these issues. Honestly, for me, is to express myself as well as to tell stories. Um, I have an old soul, so I like to tell a lot of stories. Um, I sit on the porch with my granddad and we just trade stories back and forth and he tells me things, so I like to highlight that in my work. Um, and a lot of times in my work, it's something that is very figurative, so that you connect with the character and the narrative. And the stories that I tell hopefully will, you know, go beyond the painting and into conversations that you'll have later on. Right when I have an idea, I kind of sit on it for a while, but once I get into the mood of making, I just go at it. I make a lot of marks, so I need something that is very raw and allows me to work fast. And sketch after sketch after sketch, my ideas come into fruition. First out of state show, um, not too far away from home, but it's far enough. And I like the fact that the space is amazing, the show is hung very well, and I'm excited for it. Yeah.